My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We have here a Factory 5 1965 Cobra Roadster. These things are amazing. You want a little fun in your life, a little exhilaration. It's like a, a go-kart on steroids. You hear the pipes roaring. You get the wind blowing through your hair. They're just a blast to drive one of these cars. You don't have to pay a million or two million dollars for one of the originals. You got the Factory 5. They're just as good or better in a lot of ways. Just a lot of fun for a fraction of the price of the original. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can read the specs, study the pictures, get the price. Not only on this one, but we have a few hundred collector cars all for sale at volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon. You'll be notified as the new ones are posted. But right now, let's go for a spin in this 65 Cobra, which I will start up in a minute. You're going to like it. You're going to love it. Uh, anyway, Factory 5 is a company that builds... Uh, reproduction Corvettes and Roadsters, uh, not Corvettes, Cobras, and other types of hot rods and Roadsters. Uh, they have a very good reputation. This is regarded as one of the better uh, kits that are available. It's titled as, as a 2007 assembled vehicle. That's when it was built. It's properly titled and tagged, so everything's legitimate. Uh, they have a really well-built frame. Uh, four inch round tubular frame rails, just like the original, and has all these supports coming off of it from there. And up front, this one has an independent suspension, tubular control arms. The upper ones are adjustable, has coilover shocks, has rack and pinion steering. In back, it's got coil springs and has a four shock system. It has the two normal shocks and then two other shocks that are almost horizontal. Uh, you look up at the motor, it's, it's been spray painted, the oil pan's Ford Blue, a starter looks fresh, uh, it has a remote uh, oil filter. Uh, it's a T5 Borg Warner five-speed transmission that's in there. And it's a Ford 8.8 inch rear end, has a chrome cover, and it has 350 uh, Posi gears in the rear end. Underneath is real nice, the chassis is powder coated black, uh, the floors are aluminum. Uh, the body, of course, is fiberglass. Has disc brakes in front, drum and back. Uh, it has an emergency brake system all hooked up. Uh, and underneath the car is actually really clean, all powder coated and, and real nice. The body is exceptional. Uh, these kits don't always come you know, fitting perfectly. Uh, this one is dialed in real nice. It fits nice. It's straight. Uh, doors don't rub or hang up. The fit and finish is excellent. Beautiful color. It's a PPG silver jade metallic. It's gorgeous. It's a silver car with just a hint of green in it. Got nice metal flake. Metal flakes laid out evenly. It's all smooth. It's all glossy. It's all one color. Uh, I don't see any issues with the body or paint. Has the aluminum pop-up gas cap right here. Has the chrome hinges. Nice chrome here. Uh, now this type of little bumper, that's actually, when the race cars, the jack would fit right on here. You could jack the car up real quick, change a tire or whatever. Uh, so it has those, they are chrome plated, uh, original style looking tail lights, uh, chrome roll bar. All the chrome's brilliant, none of it is peeling or pitted. It, it looks beautiful, the chrome on this car. Uh, they call this a bullet mirror, windshield's crystal clear, has a real light, almost like a green tint to it, looks nice with the paint. Has the wing windows, uh, real nice. They're not crackled or broken or anything like that. Aluminum vents here. The pipes, they're jet coated, jet hot ceramic coated pipes. They're silver, they look really sharp. Burn your leg once on it, that's how you learn not to do it again. <laughs> you get out of the car, you gotta be careful. The wheels, they actually say Shelby American Racing right on them. Those are Shelby wheels. 15-inch, uh, polished aluminum. They got spinners, great-looking wheels. Got the same bumpers up front here. Uh, nice big radiator, the big electric fan to keep it cool. 
and all of the chrome, not that there's a lot of it, but all the chrome really sparkles on this car. This one here, the hood lifts off. It's very light, probably a little easier with two people, but one person has no problem. If I drop it, you'll never see it anyway because we'll stop filming. There we go. It's very light. There is a hairline scratch right here, just a hairline. Uh, that was there when we got the car. Trunk compartment, super clean, carpeted. I mean, it's just painted nice. The hardware, the wiring, the weather strips, all real nice. There's a disconnect switch for the battery. And there's two remote terminals here for the battery. Battery must be tucked up under there somewhere. So you have these uh, terminals if you need to charge it or jump it. The doors fit real nicely as chrome uh, hinges or uh, hardware on the inside. Latches is what I should say with the leather straps. This one also has door pockets. Everything's amazing. The motor compartment uh, could use a little detail. Everything's built right. Uh, there's no issues, uh, but it's not as slick as the rest of the car. We've got a 5.0 liter fuel injected motor in here. Uh, it's got headers, uh, Cobra intake, some nice polished uh, finned Cobra valve covers, uh, more modern Ford ignition, a serpentine belt system. Uh, I told you it has a remote oil filter, so it's easy to change and uh, the big radiator keeps it cool so everything looks nice and proper just not as detailed as i would like it it's fine just the way it is if you wanted to go changing pulleys and brackets and really bring it up a notch that would be fun to do so it does have these nice bucket seats it has the simpson racing harnesses you can do the lap belt or you can do over the shoulders as well the gauges are all matching it has an authentic look in here. It has the, uh, the original style shifter, uh, toggle switches, the steering wheels, the wood rimmed wheel with the aluminum spokes, says Cobra right on it. It's carpeted really nicely. All the fit and finishes are really excellent. Like I said, the engine apartment is not bad at all by any means, but it's not as slick as the rest of the car. Everything else is really nice said I've seen the chrome where it's nasty and I've seen these where they're hazed and crackled and I've seen issues with paint jobs this is uh, this doesn't have any of that it's got that sound I didn't mention it has only 7,500 miles on it since it's been built I could do that all day. Door shuts, nice. nice five liter fuel injected no troubles you want to put your foot into it you're going to have a blast go to volocars.com i just gave you my impression of this car i think pretty highly of it uh, if you have specific concerns or questions there's plenty of ways to reach out to the salesman at volocars.com they can get it shipped anywhere in the country anywhere in the world they can get you financed if you just enjoy watching the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, you'll be the first to see the next one that's posted. Thanks for watching.